Priyanka, just tell me about yourself. Yes, sir. Mm-hmm. My name is Priyanka, sir. I am from Andhra Pradesh. Mm-hmm. I have completed my post graduation in the stream of computer science from Krishna Chaitanya College in 2019. Mm-hmm. And my graduation in the stream of computer applications from Chandra Reddy College in 2017. After my post graduation, I worked as a women protection secretary for three years, 10 months in Gramwad Sachwalayam. Mm-hmm. And uh, I belong to a normal family where my father is a farmer. Uh, his name is Balakrishna. And my mother is a housewife, she is Bharati, and I have one younger sister. She has recently completed her graduation. Mm-hmm. And this is about me. Okay. You are having any achievements, positive things with you? Uh, Just yes. explain them, ex- explain them clearly. Yes, yes sir. Uh, in my graduation final year, I've got a class, college first uh, with 93%. Very good. And my in post graduation also, in first year, I've got a second place mm-hmm. in my computer science background. Okay. And second place in uh, second place in second year. Okay. So these Very good. Check. These kind of things you need to uh, yes. present. Madam. Okay. How much you rate yourself in Python out of five? Uh, three, sir. Three. Okay. What is the what do you mean of variable? Sir, it's like a container uh, which is used to store uh, values. Mm-hmm. Uh, generally, if you want to store a water, mm-hmm. we need a glass. Okay. So in Python, if you want to store a var- values, okay. we need a variable. So there are some rules to define a variable. So in variable, it can if it should name it should contain uh, alphabets, underscore, okay. and numbers. Very good. It should starts with alphabets and underscore. Okay. And we should not use keywords as a variable. Okay. Okay. Very good. Very good. What is the use of decision making statements? To take the decision based on some conditions, we use this decision making statements. Okay. Can you differentiate all the you know all the decision making statements we are having? Yes, sir. Uh, there are mainly four types. Mm-hmm. First one is if condition, mm-hmm. used to give some condition based on one single condition. And next one is if else. If you take two conditions, first one is if if it's not satisfies, then it goes to else. Mm-hmm. And if if else if ladder, third one. So it first it check first condition. If it's not the correct one, it goes to the uh, second next condition. One. Okay. And okay. if else if ladder. Okay. It is if else if ladder. Nice yes, okay. okay. Leave it. Can you please write a program? So I want you to find whether given number is a uh, strong number or not. So can you explain first what do you mean of strong number? Sir, it's uh, sum of the factors of a number is equals to that number. Sum of the factors is perfect number. Some of the factorials is strong number. Uh, sorry, factorials is uh, equal to that number is called strong number. Yes, please. Write the logic. Very good. Very good. You really written in a different way than others. Very good. Very good. Uh, just tell me what is the difference between list and tuple? So list and bo- uh, tuple are both are the data structures. Mm-hmm. Our list is a data structure which is used to store the heterogeneous values and which is a mutable data structure. And whereas coming to the tuple, uh, it is a mutable data structure. Uh, other than that, there is a performance difference b- between list and the tuple. Mm-hmm. It means, uh, list as as I said, list is a mutable data structure. It means we, we can store, we can add the values uh, in different, different times. But whereas tuple, once we uh, created the tuple, we cannot add the new elements. So by by those by that performance, uh, tuple is better than the list. Okay, okay. Very good. Next, you just tell me what do you mean of list comprehension? A uh, short way of uh, creating a list is nothing but uh, list comprehension. Okay. Can you please create a list with uh, 1 to 10 even numbers yes. by using list comprehension? Yes. yes. Very good. Very good. Can you please uh, tell me about string? Yes, sir. String is a sequence of characters which is enclosed in single quotes or double quotes. It's mm-hmm. an immutable data structure. Okay. Sorry, immutable object. Okay, very good. Uh, just write a program to check whether given string is palindrome or not. Yes. Please. So palindrome means if we see from front and from the back, it's... If you reverse the string, it should be the same. same. Yes. Good, madam. I'm not saying your return is wrong, but you don't need to re- write those many lines. As you know, the uh, slicing is there. Yes, sir. Using slicing, you if, can do it. If there is asking without slicing. Okay, then it's cut. Yeah, I'm saying it's not wrong, but good. So tell me, what do you mean of generator? Sir, it's a special function uh, which is using yield as a keyword to return the values. Uh, as we have written by the, in function, but it, what is the behavior of a return is once it returns the value, it does not come back to the function. Mm-hmm. But whereas yield, we can return the multiple values 
single in single value at, at a time. So this is a okay. generator. Okay. What do you mean of closer? Um, remembering the state of the local variable out, outside the function is called okay. closure. Where we generally use closer? Uh, if uh, once we, once function is created after the execution, the uh, memory will be destroyed. Mm -hmm. But if we want that variable outside the uh, memory outside the function, we use the closure. Okay, good. What is the difference between procedural oriented programming and object oriented programming? Uh, yes, sir. Procedural oriented programming uh, is written by using functions, uh, whereas object oriented programming is completely related to the class and objects. Mm -hmm. Uh, in functions, we use uh, there is a code reusability and it, it follows the top down approach. And whereas uh, object oriented programming, it follows the bottom up approach because uh, there uh, it gives more importance to the data the, and next to the logic. But uh, procedure oriented programming gives uh, importance to the logic and then data. Okay. So, what do you mean of top down approach and bottom up approach? Yes, sir. In functions, we write uh, entire code at a time and we divide into the separate functions. Mm -hmm. But in object-oriented programming, first we, uh, de de I mean, we divide the what are the things we need and we ap apply the logic on them. Mm -hmm. Okay. So first, most reusable component you identify. Um, From there, you start the development. Okay. No worries. What do you mean of inheritance, madam? I um, mean, uh, acquiring the uh, class, I mean, methods and attributes from the uh, one, one class to the another class is nothing but inheritance. Okay, very good. What do you mean of MRO? Sir, I not have any idea because uh, in last week, I last month, I have not okay. came to okay. the class. Okay, no worries. What, uh, what about MySQL, madam? How much you rate yourself in MySQL out of five? Three, sir. Three, good. Because I was absent for some classes. Okay, no worries, no worries. What's the difference between delete and truncate? Uh, delete and truncate both are used to delete the values from the table. Delete is used to specific uh, or uh, an entire tables, but we can roll back them once we want. But whereas truncate is a DDL command, we can't roll back the data once uh, uh, we delete it because it is a DDL command which is auto commit by default. So that's okay. the difference. So, I'm stopping here. You are perfectly eligible for the software development.